Hello beautiful people, we are the Luxury Pickers and today we're at the Bath and West Showground in Somerset for the annual Antiques and Collectibles Fair. This is based just outside of Chef de Mallet, probably around about 15-20 minutes from where we actually live. Um, it's fantastic if you're into uh, antiques and vintage wares i will tag them down below and you can go and click on their clicks and link on their links uh, but it is like once every two months they also hold a flea market here which i would say is marginally better you just said it was annual That's i once mean a year. annually i mean like annually is in like once every few months uh okay. biannually no i don't know what that would be but to be honest it's usually in the summer they do a few in the summer don't they no well they do it through the winter too do they actually yeah there's one in december so just disregard the first comment bethany made and we'll move on by a try and <laughs> call it's it's every couple of months and there's a flea market Check the website the lazy people <laughs> there's a flea market in between what we wanted to demonstrate with this video before i got confused on annually and biannually is um the things that you can find at these like flea Ooh, markets. Look at her hair with the shades on. I know, I'm such a little. Hot stuff. Thanks, us. Um, is um, that you can find pretty much anything here. That is the point on the moral of the story. I know a lot of resellers that do like more like vintage furniture. I know resellers that do toys. And antiques, actually. And antiques, like proper antiques. Um, I or... love when people, anti antique people comment because I really think like you've kind of made it like antiques for us, like we're into clothing, obviously. Antiques are the like, like OGs. the OG resellers. Like, yeah. They're like the ones like you have to just pretty much bow down to. Like bargain hunt people are OG no rocho people like og like yeah, resellers yeah. really yeah, that's what i'm saying so if we call them dealers because they specialize in certain areas yeah so that that's the thing isn't it like yeah. in, the, in the fashion world is strange because we've done this like even well before youtube we've, we've done fashion and i think i buy at one point said fashion dealers or luxury fashion dealers i should say but you never think like, i think of myself as a dealer for fashion what i'm saying is though resellers never class themselves as dealers if, you can be a dealer of everything if someone asks me what i do for a living i say i'm a fashion dealer yeah uh, I don't say I'm a reseller. I think a reseller, for me, definitionally wise, I think is a, someone who generally sells everything. Like like a bit of everything. Yeah, a bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whereas we specialise, we niche down. So I would say we're specialist resellers, yeah, which are dealers. I get that. Anyway, that lamp was so nice. Look at it. The in pinky, its... pinky like, oh, lilac-y colour. Isn't that just, like, gorgeous? That anyway. Like well, your socks. I know. Alexander McQueen, for anyone who wants to know. Um, every... <laughs> uh, <laughs> every... We want to just walk around basically and show you the different kinds of things. Obviously, we're not going to point out everything to you because some things we just don't deal in. You might really be into like folk art, circus signs. For example, if anyone sees anything like and you're like, "Wow, that's amazing!" or "Or, or God, I can't believe they passed that up." Please, like, just let us know. Not like I can go yeah. back there, and but it's good for knowledge. And isn't if it? anyone's like super interested, how sick would it be to do like a little resellers field trip? And that would be so cool. Like, and taken. And like, what, like, as in go there with people? Yeah. Like actual human beings? Yeah. That sounds madness. Yeah. We that's do. a cool surfboard, what a scene. And that says plants and coke. Do you no know idea what was going on there? There's, um, there's a lot of money in vintage surfboards and vintage skateboards if you pick up the right ones from the right people, from the right artists, from the right peoples. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that? From like certain eras and yeah. certain times. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, had, I, we... I, did, I did know a little bit about um, surfboards, not so much skateboards. I'm not really a skater guy. You, you surprise you. me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that about me. That is a giant, well, that's two, giant size lollipops. Do you know what's interesting? Metal, they were, weren't they? I've always what been really interested here. in like store props and store displays because the cost to have them made is astronomical. Yeah, you can probably like buy knockoff cheap ones on eBay for like next to no money, but yeah. they were like metal. Wouldn't they be so cool outside the mansion? Yeah, outside you know? the mansion. So it looks like a, like a, like grotto. Yep. Like, like ginger, we could make it a gingerbread house. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be cute. I, I don't know what you mean. Anyway, back to it. Sorry, I, I defer. I, I, defer. Feel, I, I feel like we need uh, we need some faux snow. But there's what I'm saying is there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's money everywhere, like copper bowls. More Coke-labelled stuff. I hope this is Coca-Cola, folks. It's Coca-Cola. Um, obviously, all your crockery, your ceramics, your pottery. It's a bit of pool pottery there, if anyone who wanted to know. Cool. Obviously, there's money in it all. You Le have leather rug. Okay, Austin's in such a strange mood. Um, um, obviously, there is haggling to be had at antiques and flea markets. Like, um, no one knows that. Because you have to think of it as, like, being a portable shop for these people. True. This was cool. Everyone knows I love watches. This is a Swatch watch collection from, I believe, 1995, just before the 96 Atlanta Olympics, which was kind of like a whole collection. 
these can go for some quite good money. Um, I, the, the actual chap was speaking to someone, so I didn't ask. And I, I wasn't looking to buy, to sell. I'll be really quite honest with you. But afterwards, when I checked comps, it was quite surprising. Um, they go for like, I don't know, f um, three, four hundred pounds. Um, or at least they sell. They, they actually kind of go up for that. I saw one sold for 200 so once again, it depends what you want. You might want it 150 and yeah, in which case there's no money in it. That's but the thing. It might have been £20, who knows? But the, this, you have to remember, at the heart of it, the, all these people are resellers. So they bought it for a price and they got they want to or they've got to get an end price. So there's always going to be a little bit of wiggle, I reckon. However, because of re, like a, a reseller's you know, by by nature, and I say resellers in inverted commas, um, we've had this conversation before about where you get your comps from, how you comp, and a lot of people just use eBay as like mm. the law, right? Which is fine. You do you. But what I'm saying is, with this kind of thing is, these people, whether they use eBay or not, they might pick, they might have picked up on eBay on a bad day or, or on a good day or vice versa. So it's actually really interesting to come and compare prices here to actually like to value the item yourself. Do you uh, know what I mean when I say that? Also, they're serving more so. They're serving more so the general public. So the as opposed to us resellers, like yeah. anywhere. So they do. I do. What find, I call the end user. Yeah, I do find their prices tend to be a, a touch inflated. Um, but then if you're look if you're attacking or getting a stylist in who needs that piece of furniture to finish a set or finish a, yeah, a project then they're going to pay elevated prices so it's all very dependent on your customer base and the, these people like i say aren't on ebay well some no. of them are um but, no, but even those boxes to be quite frank they might have gone through them and found good bad or in different pieces but you can't tell me there aren't some things in there which you could sell on ebay which no. they just haven't bothered that's what and i'm saying i think people are often put off by this one uh, slightly more to get on on the friday it's 10 pounds each to get in on friday but five pounds each on the other days it also gives you a pass though doesn't it yeah for the rest of the Days. but I think people put off with this one a little bit because it's antiques and collectibles so you do get stores that have got like you know I'm talking about the Don furniture the you know the proper timeless diamond expensive Rolexes, yeah diamond but then rings, you watches, do get a yeah. splattering of flea market vibe I think the longer the flea goes on the more popular it gets that's a cigar case for anyone who's wondering what the heck that is um, love a, I love a good cigar case, I must say. Um, I pick everything up, Bethany shouts at me, because I do pick everything up and I touch everything. I'm like a small child in that respect. Oh, I just my head in. This, however, is really cool. It was a suede box, but it was actually, um, well, it's, it's basically a load of collars. And when people used to kind of have shirts without collars, they used to replace the collar that way rather than kind of the shirt would have no collar, if you know what I mean. They can go for anything between, I don't know, 20 and and £100, depending on the brand and the maker and whatever else. That's got watermark on it as well, that one. Uh, but also the collars were so, new. It's a good maker um, as well, yeah. But once again, it depends. So, like, that's maybe something you'd walk past in a boot sale and mm -hmm. think, like, on a, in a pound table. And there is money in it. That's that's what I'm, I was trying to say by that. I love mid-century furniture. That's so cute. That was so wrecked, but it was so cute. It's just cool fun. colours on this chessboard. Yeah, that I do included this for all the the chess fiends out there that 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 is a that's a chess if you board, were a chess board that would be me as a chess board that would literally be you that's a cool uh chair but not I at all i hate that chair. yeah that's why it's cool <laughs> i wouldn't have it in my home <laughs> no i just love it i love looking at any, anything really i'm i'm such like an what old... was i trying to sneakily look at then like, I, I always put these back and think what am i up to by there I, have the there. Time, I don't know what so anyway we tried to leave as much walking in as possible so that you could like scan with us if that makes sense it does get better i promise there's me i'm, I'm looking at sunglasses i'm not being weird i swear <laughs> to god and then i have to do a quick take yeah okay they're cheap let's move on um but there sometimes like the best thing for us at these places is when there's like a stall full of i don't know like german war toys or something and they have like one piece of clothing yeah, yeah. to be honest the outside stuff like you just said it's very like the like the stuff you see in here very flea what i'd call cottage flea. core here yeah I was glad. And some pieces are really cheap, some pieces are expensive. But this is a great example. This was really cool, kind of glassware. This um, this uh, bar, kind of like, what would you call it? Like a ship bar. They go for massive money, like as you can see on the screen now. They go on for huge money. So not that you're going to see one of those every day, but if you saw those uh, on a house clearance at a boot sale yeah, yeah, for 50 yeah. quid, pick, most people would laugh at it. Pick up that bar. Pick up the pick bar. Pick up that boat bar. <laughs> and Bethany, you talked about how cool these lampshades are. And they were actually, they were glass, they were white, and they were orange and blue speckle or like marble-esque. See, this is like uh, like hardcore, I would call this sort of like eclectic 
um, what do they call Kitchen it? Kitchen work? Ki- uh, no, tableware. Yeah. Um, but there is a splattering on the floor over here, I'm wandering over to show you, see, of Emma Bridgewater. So there is opportunity to sort of buy <laughs> more contemporary things as well, Yeah. if that's your bag. And most people here are either, I find, are like looking for specifics or just wondering. And they or... kind of frown at that kind of stuff because it's new. Yeah, they like they like the old, the old I stuff. Also, I also think watching us do this, you might think this is the most rubbish video ever, ever and that's fine. But watching us go, go here is, is from my point of view is really cool because until we see clothes or bags or whatever else we find or see uh, we're looking we're walking around this like any other normal human being yeah like, i feel like in some respects my superpower has been taken away from me because when i look at antiques i don't know anything about antiques i'm quite no, honest no. And open about that but i also hope some people who do antiques or have real good knowledge um watch it and fun. think look at that that's cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. There's free large halls or warehouses or I don't know what they call them. What would you call that building? An out building? Out. But it was big, big little warehouse, isn't it? Yeah, well, I suppose it is bloody big, actually, yeah. And then they have the outside as well. At, uh, during the flea, they only have one inside space, but the whole grounds are covered. It's yeah, this huge. is very sparse looking. The antiques is they kind of spread it out a bit more. Yeah. I think because, once again, I hate to say, but they're like a, a, a table full of pocket watches, which might be worth like £10,000, mm-hmm. is a lot... Of, smaller than for example a whole house clearance for a flea 100 percent. you know uh vintage clothing we are not true vintage clothing uh lookers we are we do look for obviously name brands those are st michael's and when we say that we're talking about if it's from the 20s like that's not that's not austin or bethany's bag i'm gonna be no. quite honest with you you know what i mean and that's okay because once again we're not like we're not we don't pretend to be experts in everything uh the people wear Austin's just are itching to get to the watches. We mainly go for Austin's look at watches. Don't tell anyone. It's bad. <laughs> I just told everyone. Very Austin. bad. Um, but there is, well, like I said, there's advertising, there's furniture, there's smalls, there's kitchenware. And there's these, which are empty bottles of vintage perfumes, perfumery, if you will. Um, some of these can go for a lot. If they're full, some of them can go for a little bit more. Um, it's just kind of finding ones which, which ones are collectible, the condition, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you've heard all this before, I know, but... Uh, it's just interesting. I think when you when you come to these places, usually they are like they charge next to nothing for them. Yeah, like a couple of pound each. Um, you know, some are worth a lot. Some some are actually worth even if they're dead. And when I say dead, I mean you could physically couldn't use it as fragrance anymore. Even if they're still full, and they're like. I from- just realised we bought that Chanel in box at the Boots at the weekend. That one you picked up there. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. but um, uh, no, that that wasn't wasn't that lipstick. That, that, that no, one, it was atomizer, a baby atomizer. Okay, so for example, this uh, Givenchy, um, this is a vintage one. That's obviously full with a box, but that's one hundred and fifty, for example. On the flip side, that was for sale. This is sold, and that's only forty two. So that's bids though. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. This was funny because it had a Gucci top. And it was a Chloe bottle, which once again, no we one would find, recognize. We find things like that funny. And I, act, I actually find this funny now because I show Bethany, she grabs it and then she flinches because she realized what, what I was just showing you. I was appalled. Um, so once again, be careful out there, folks, because a lot of people would be like, oh, Gucci, oh, Chloe. Um, you know, some some of the tops they're missing or they, they don't match. Or, You're best be fair, off buying this sort of thing in bulk, I reckon. Bulk? bulk so i would have taken the whole table yeah i agree give one off and then just work out what's, what's there mm-hmm. um because there were quite a few good ones but once again just to let you know although i was just saying full or, or partly full um partly used bottles sell you can actually sell empty bottles totally oh yeah, yeah there's good money in those as well for display actually people put water in them and tint the, tint the water to make them look full for like for like display purposes strange people they are, but it's true. <laughs> I spend way too much time on like luxury forums, I that's know. for sure. This is a Ralph jacket, which we will show you now. I promise. Well, not right now, but maybe now. There you go. Ralph, Ralph Lauren is a... Ralph, Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Oh my Lauren. God, I just said Ralph Lauren. Oh my God, wash my mouth. There was a button mouth, missing help. here. I, I'll ignore you because we, I can't talk to you about that. Um, there was a button missing. It was nice. It was a nice jacket. It was kind of a suede um, a collar or like... Yeah, it was suede, wasn't it? Yeah, suede and wool. Um, very nice mixed blend, but it was like 30 something pounds. They can go for a lot of money. That's not the exact one, clearly. No, but we're showing you the that military that. jackets. Yeah, it, it was a military style. So just to let you know, they are, and once again, like anything with Ralph, it depends on the label. That was Ralph by Ralph Lauren, which actually is a decent vintage label now. Um, 
But once again, it just depends on the label. There is money in those but um, military, garments the, for sure. I know, the military by Ralph is a good thing to look out for. So to, to, from the out, from the out, apart from some labels, you might see this looks kind of like a just like a hobby craft kind of setup. Do you think? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so rude. No, I'm sorry if they're watching. I feel like it is. I was eyeing up the Givenchy '80s jewelry on the back. Now, my only issue with this stall that it was it was priced above market value. It was so well above actually. This is a Christian Dior elephant um, pendant. Bro brooch that we were looking at um it had movable legs which i thought was like the cutest thing in the world they had some chanel earrings as well but the elephant brooch in particular they go for like 280 no this pounds. this is that lady's listing from oh, okay. etsy that's that's how much she had it up for but there was only it's only her listing i was gonna say there's no available so no. to be fair that's kind of the market value for, if yeah. you will right now jewelry is so different it, like from what we do a uh, luxury jewelry mm. whether it's costume or otherwise it's it, high end it, high end brands vintage and normally costume and that's the problem that's where the yeah. problem so you can't tell what it's called brooch it's going to be cost x just really apply this is a moschino um uh, i reckon uh, late 90s y2k uh, moschino jeans leather bag um, it's actually a really cool tassel bag it also has a coin emblem right through um, a coin emblem. Uh, like a coin. What would you call it? What would I would you call... say it's got coins on it. It hasn't, though. They're coin style, aren't they? They're not actual coins, are they? Well, they're coin... They're coins. So this is this is going to be this is going to be a big issue for you right now uh -huh. moving forward. Mm -hmm. that, anyway, that handle is immense, isn't it? The cute. ruffled leather is amazing. Yeah. It's one hundred and ten pounds with these people. They also have the bag next to us, which they've listed up at Versace for two hundred eighty. Which was not Please Versace. Please note that before. is not Versace. No. It is a brand called Versace, but it is not Versace. That's to give you an example of something similar. It, the what they bag were we the saw, same coins. The bag the bag we saw was actually a lot nicer. That was the same coin. <laughs> um, but they were they were a lot. lot that was lot. a smaller version probably from the same collection yeah for this sure this store now this store if you're into mulberry handbags then do not look away this store had a lot of mulberry handbags so this is a brim it's a brim, brim. yeah the big one's called brim more i nearly said brim more is uh they wanted 500 pounds which is way too much as regards market value um it is i just it's an older bag that bag was mid 2000s it was very um, popular actually they did like a soft pink which was very popular like a dusky pink yeah funny there i like how they displayed them particularly that, that display is luxury to me yeah i really shouts it you at know, this point austin went for the big boy knowing it was going to be really expensive this is 1650 pounds for anyone who doesn't know this is a luxury mulberry handbag it's called a Bayswater, which is their most iconic shape however this is in ostrich skin yes <laughs> believe it or not it's ostrich this is also in the color sea blue with 2000 i reckon that's 2014 15 maybe no nah, 13 15, maybe yeah 13 maybe 13 either way this bag 600 pounds is a fair price um for a bag of this nature however the current market for um uh, ostrich bags is all over the place and i shall show you now why mm, so you are big um, for you really annoy me today i the, your I? voice is <laughs> It's green on my soul. Oh anyway, my they gosh. either go for... They start at about a grand and they go up to apparently 6,000. 6,000 is stupid for that bag. You'll never get 6,000 for that bag. It will be there for a thousand The last years. one I sold, the last one that went through my hands when I, we were working for Mulberry, the last known price for that bag was... I think, I think 1,250 yeah. and that was that outlet. Now, that would have been in a colour like the sea blue. When we say like the sea blue, it's more of a... Um, what do you call it? Seasonal colour as opposed to black or oak or like a the, or, more limited color yeah. yeah um by the same token it's one of those colors that if they don't sell they don't sell so yes. they end up going to outlet um that bag in good condition or near new condition right now any more than a thousand i think is too much unless it's a core color like a black a oak which is once again tan color or oxblood um there are multiple different colors um obviously released um, but once again, this would this this store was very very priced up as, as regards you know for what we do. Not because we're looking for it cheap, but this isn't even market it's value. It's above market this value. This is well above market value in every way, shape, or form. And I think for that you have to display a bag. Having bags on top of bags makes my skin crawl out yeah. of its system. This was non branded. Um, I just was checking it because it was a nice hardwood. But they did have in the cabinet as well. See that burnt orange in front of the one I'm looking at? That was a Lalique bag. Now they had it up for one two five, and these Lalique bags are comfortably sitting there about 500 um it appears they're quite, not rare but they're quite collectible the clasp on it is a piece of lalique glass which i think is really cool that one was in suede um and it probably was um, worth picking up for a flip but i don't think it would be a fast one no once again like the i, I always base it on the fact that kind of the general public so 
most of the, when I say general public, there are collectors for everything, right? That's the whole point of this whole, the place we are right now. Yeah. By the same token, these are people walking through the door, so they are members of the general public. Most people would would, would know a bit uh, a Mulberry bag. Yeah. Most people wouldn't know that Lalique did a bag. Or any no, kind no, of bag. it's you not. What I'm they're not known So for. it's not an everyday, even if it's cheap enough, it's still, you're still, as a reseller, the, you know, the, 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 the idea is to sell it. Oh, yeah. Pick it up, buy it cheap, sell it. it. No, you, you laugh. There's a lot of resellers out there which don't sell a lot of stuff, I'll be honest. That's mm. how it is. Um, so I'm saying the, the, the longer we do this and the more stock we kind of um, have or the larger we become, I guess, what I'm trying to say is I, I don't like to keep on, hold on to too much sticky stock. That's what I'm trying to get across. No, I, you know? well, hence why we didn't buy it. And yeah. To be honest with you, it's, mm, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's not as a day to design, but to look at is it's quite a traditional design exactly that does that make sense yeah it does totally this it's... lady does a lot of nice vintage dresses i did have a quick scan for laura ashley we did not win all that count no. but if you are into dresses and curtains she had a lot of them yeah and she's there every time she was upstairs and once again if you can't make it down to this and um, the flea is very similar but kind of more the flea is a little bit more flea market-esque the flea is definitely i think for more fun for resellers, is a best opportunity to find things in terms of um, for low money. I was going to say as a digger. I like yeah, yeah. People digging around for this stuff. This is more sort of high money but high profit sort of thing. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, if you like, you can get some bargains. If you're a reseller here, for sure, you can get some bargains and Look you can at, make some money. This is the downstairs. Look how big it is, and then we're upstairs, obviously. This is just this is just one of the one of the things we didn't film everywhere because, to be honest with you, not everything was applicable to. And reselling. a lot of it is fine jewelry, like um. We didn't film our purchases of fine jewelry because I didn't think you'd be so, interested. It's a different, yeah, it's a different sort of game Part if that business, makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, these are really cool in terms of eclectic. Um, these are leather, not they're not leather at all. They're, they're denim. denim samples from nineteen eighty four. But they're from a Chinese factory, which I think is amazing because a lot of denim. Um, however, however, anyone likes to believe or or think they know, a lot of denim is made in China. No matter where it's farmed to, no matter who it's sold to, or where it's manufactured afterwards, the actual swatch is originally made yeah, the, in China. The production of the fabric. Yes, um, and that was really cool. I thought if if in the right in the right place, one of those framed. If you're into textiles or into uh, fashion in general, I thought that was really mm -hmm. cool. And the human made guy, I can't say his name ever. You say his Nigo, name. Nigo, the guy who uh, was the founder of Bape, who sold oh, it yeah, sorry. and now has human made. Yeah, he's just doing an exhibition at the moment in uh, Japan, isn't it? Yep. Where he's showcasing his collection of Levi's. He has the largest collection of old school and vintage denim going back, you know, in literally like a hundred years or something in the world. Um, so uh, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. He's like the, he's like the denim guy. Going on to this bottle, this was a display piece for a store at one point or another. It is for Christian Dior uh, Savage, I believe. And um, the actual content has gone slightly milky, as you can see. These bottles, um, once again, we're going back to that, guys, the perfume bottles. Um, these are, especially the large, large, large ones, like this is like, it looks, doesn't look so large there, does it? It's 400. Maybe I've got big hands. <laughs> it's 400 mil. mil. Yeah. Go you on. can get them bigger. Oh, you, you can, can get, get like a thousand, thousand mil, mil, can't you? Um, but because they're store displays, they're obviously relatively harder to find, if that makes sense. The Chanel ones go for about 600 for the big ones. He wanted 18 for this, and I looked at it for a little while. He was chatting to someone else, and he actually just he said to me, he took, he took it off me at one point and actually said... You'll um, see it in a minute. Oh, do you? Yeah. And he actually says to me, do you, uh, if you want it, you can have it for 12, because you can see me we kind were of just wait, We were just waiting for him to stop talking. And I was, just, I was happy to say, yeah, but I'm, I'm okay with 18, that's fine. Um, another quick thing about these is I've seen this, this actual specific item i believe there's the identical one on ebay which is empty now these are come with sealed tops they come sealed like not to be yeah. able to open or, or, or do anything with they're supposed to be left that way and that's why i believe no one's gone in and change either changed the water or whatever else there's one empty on ebay currently um and to be quite frank i i think that takes away some of the original originality i guess you'd say i think you are altering its original state and to me that's sort of like a little bit sacrilegy. so that's the empty one there and once again that's good money um but you know because then you can decide whether you want to do that yourself yeah. or not or change it or whatever else those chairs i just included the table and chairs because i really that's are what my amazing dream. <laughs> they're gorgeous i really want one of those tables but i don't want to pay 800 those chairs pounds. are lovely as well i like i like the fact that they're kind of the soft with the hard you know what i mean no oh, i Okay, ooh, Mr. Interior Designer over there. Ooh. Why well, you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. Toys, there's toys here. Toys, and Austin just does the, yep, Ecto-1. That's the Playmobil Ecto-1, isn't it, for anyone who wants to Yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, it was, on it? I knew it was. A small person got one of those, didn't she? I sniff out the clothes, look at me. 
once again, this is this is a bit more vintage. So if you're into vintage, there's definitely opportunity um, for oh, vintage always clothing. Always flip the bags, guys. <laughs> and pan bags. But every now and then, you do find a little gem. Yeah, not all the time, but, you know, sometimes So if anyone do. wants to come down, if anyone does come down, then do let us know, because they have a bar. We like bars. Austin likes bars. I like sitting in them. And just relaxing. Yes, just relaxing. Just so relaxing. What, what, what are we looking at here? Let, let, let's, give, let's give some kind of descriptive terms of what we can There's find. There's a glass chessboard there. <laughs> Thank you for the most obvious thing There's we can find. There's some watches. There's some watches. Well, we'll move on from there. There's a cracked pot there. Okay, does that add value? There's a lamp. Okay, well, let's let's not do that then, because that sounds terrible. Yeah, see, so you know. Okay, well, let's keep the conversation flowing, Bethany. Well, I had to I had to look through every single piece of clothing because I get this weird like thing like I'm gonna miss something. Do you it's ever like, do that? It's like the FOMO thing. And to be honest, once again, the, you might go for ten rails in this place, not find a bean, and yeah. the very last rail you'll come to, you'll find X, Y, Z. Which is hilarious because we were on a crunch for the for the school pickup, but the very last store that we went to. And what do you find on the floor? These are uh, uh, Balenciaga. So they are Balenciaga, um, I don't know if they've got a special name, but they're marble-esque looking. These are the same kind of era that when the uh, Balenciaga Arena came out, um, probably 2000, I want to say, and 10, 2000, no, 2012 maybe. Um, either way, they're a marble high top. They're not arena at all, but they're the same kind of time era. But it is a men's trainer, correct? It's a men's, it's a men's style that's, sneaker. that's in a small size because it's, our ladies bought it. Exactly that. And they were very small fitting compared to the arenas, actually. That's an Air Force One. That was a special kind of combat edition. They did loads of those. Like utility vibes. Utility, yeah. They did loads of the knock, like knocked it off for like a 10 to different times to make a cheaper kind of general release version. And it, yeah. kind, of, it, kind, of dwelt, it kind of lowered it in value. Um, Gum Solo wanted forty pounds a pair for the blend tag, that wasn't terrible. By the same token, like you just said, our current market value is not great. And I actually think that the the one I we just shoot, the one we just had a picture of what what size was that? It was a men's size, but and I think I think the problem is that Balenciaga have some, come so far away from that shoe. Yeah, it's they're, not the same company they're anymore. They're so forward and progressing now that it's just sort I agree. of that's, hard. That's a, it's a different company. It's hard You're to right. shift them. Very good. These point. are. Is a bummer aren't. They are Italy, Italy, which is the sister brand, the sort of ready to wear brand. Still worth picking up. The lady wanted fifty, I think, for these, and they're velvet touch, but they are small size. They were size. amazing though to touch. Also is a this Mark Jacobs. Mark Mark by Mark Jacobs, which is obviously a discontinued um, section of the company now. Um, I do have a dress very similar to that though. Like it's like tea dress style. Yes, you do. I, I always call it. The trousers were very nice. Now the only thing that put me off getting these trousers is I picked up two pairs of uh, Isabel Moran Ashley jeans this week, and both pairs I paid under five pounds. So as much as once again, they're worth it if they're for you or you. You can double. You, you know, even if you want to resell them, you could double your money, make eighty, you know, sell them at eighty pounds, maybe ninety pounds. But once again. Uh, that's not really what we do. It's not what we do, but you can. Yeah, well, you can, yeah, of course yeah, anyone can. Yeah, want to. No, of course anyone can. What I'm saying is like, the people might be asking, well, why wouldn't you pick them up then? Well, because once again, if you're going to buy some items, let's buy four or five items instead. This is a Mulsbury. Mulls, this is Mulberry a Mulsbury. This is a Mulsbury Postman's Lock Wallet that came with the bag. That's the bag. They call, Yeah, they called it... Yeah, they, very rare. Rio? They call it Rio Tooled. Now, I particularly don't like them. I know they are like got a weird cult following. Um, they're, I don't know. I just have, I don't feel them. Basically, what happens is, you know the brass on the front? You can see all the brass studs. Over time, it oxidizes and it leaves green marks under leather. Looks now, bad. a lot of collectors don't mind it because of obviously natural wear and tear of the product does that make sense totally but i just find it like i find it a fault with the that particular yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a hard way that was the, a chloe purse as well i was going to say the other thing we just picked up i think picked up the gold chloe purse which was hilarious because she wanted 40 pounds for the mulberry purse randomly and then she said um, oh there's a um there's a purse there as well a chloe i'm not sure if it's real or not bethany said no it is real and she said oh um, do you want 40 for that we said um no Oh, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I hope you like this style of video. I know it's a lot, di a lot different from what we normally do, but we want to start integrating some of our other things we do in our yeah. lives. Not and just, not just charity shops and boot sale. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if you liked it, put a comment, like, press the like button, subscribe, do something cool. If not, see you next time. Bye.